This is Bits and Bobs with Kits and Bits and your host Lynette Delane. Number four is who are you and what feeling do you want to put out in the world? So, so, it, it, mm. <laughs> so what, kind of, what kind of feeling are you putting? Mm. Your brand is actually projecting um, a vibe or a, a, a feeling. It's, mm. it's a mood. It's not just any old... Um, um, it's not just a collection of colours and fonts. It's yeah. actually trying, trying, trying to create a whole um, persona around you, who and what, what you are. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, you know, you want to put out simplicity and, and yeah. ease and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So you've got a really um, very straightforward. It's, it's, all, it's all about straightforwardness for you. Yeah. That's what you're yeah. helping people with. Yeah. So that's what you're projecting. Absolutely. I wear jeans in my photos. Um, mm. you know, because that, that's I'm comfortable that way, and it's that sort of you know, business up the top, party down the bottom. <laughs> so you know, yeah, I, I'm, I'm I, I've never worn a full suit in my life, so it would be silly for me to wear that. I would look uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, and yeah. so for me, it's about that projecting. Hey, look, I know that you need to get this business done, but I'm also going to have a joke about it with you. We're going to do it as simply as we possibly can um, and, you know, and get on with it, you know, and that's what I yeah. think the, the genes for me, you know, it's that working man's <laughs> denim, that's how it started, um, is just that getting on with it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that's also what we were talking about before in our first take that didn't get recorded <laughs> <laughs> was authenticity. Be yes. authentic oh. about who you want. Okay. What, what, what you want to project? Yeah. Um, look, as we were talking about before, yeah. you know, we, when you started, you were talking about we, we did this and we team. and our team and and <coughs> really, uh, um, that's just so inauthentic. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I was, mm. <coughs> excuse me. And as I was saying, we as humans can, we've got this little radar inside, yeah. so we can tell quite often. We can tell people who are being inauthentic. Yeah. And we, we look, I look at that stuff and it just go, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like if you've got KFC trying to say that they're being healthy and you're like, yeah, but I... Yeah, uh, come on. <laughs> really? That's not why we go to you. Sticking an ex- extra bit of lettuce onto a Big Mac does not make it healthy. <laughs> no. 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 Um, yeah. Um, yeah. It, well, being authentic is, is really, really important too. Absolutely. <clears throat> and for me, it completely changed my engagement. So the minute I started being me, then I felt comfortable putting photos up because I wasn't having to dress up. I wasn't worrying about my makeup. I was like, well, I don't wear makeup, so what's the point of putting it on for photos? You know, like professional profile photos, sure, but sure. You know, everyday selfies, whatever. It's like, well, this is what I wear. This is what I look that's like. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, like doing a video like we are now, I'm not wearing any makeup Absolutely. either. Like I, I, don't, I don't do that these days. I did no. it when I was 20, but not now. No, and it's, you know, there's that, there's that thing about, um, and I, I see it quite often, of you, you know, you get these people and they go and do this really fancy photo shoot um, and, so, and that's all they project. But then when they turn up to things, they're wearing jeans and, you know, mm. makeup and you're like, I didn't even recognise you because that is yeah. so far apart, you know, where yeah. uh, someone like, you know, Lisa Messenger who mm. in all of her photos is wearing jeans and a leather jacket, you know, like <laughs> because mm. yeah. she, she dresses up in. And I, so I would recognise her if she was, if I was at a networking gig or, you know, a seminar thing that she was at, I would go, oh, that's her. But if she constantly dressed in suits and then turned up in jeans, I'd be like, mm, I don't know who that is. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, you've got to be authentic, be authentic. Yeah. And um, the thing is too that, just being authentic, um, you attract people that will like you for who you are and yeah. they'll want to work with you for who you are yeah. and not because you're... Lower like, price. Yeah. yeah. Well, so many people, you know, just trying to be the lowest price and it's like it's not doing you any favours and it's no. not really doing your clients any favours. Oh, don't compete on price. Don't, don't, don't get me started on that one either. That's just, that's just that's doing disservice to not only yourself but to the whole industry. Yeah, yes. Because um, the customers then get this expectation that everybody's going to work for that much. Yeah. That's not true. No. Number five is your branding is only part of your business. Your brand is only 
just a small part of mm. who and what your business is about. So there's your finances, yeah. there's there's just so many other bits to your brand mm. to your business and branding is only part of it. So don't feel like it's the be all and end all of everything. No. It's only part of it. There's the marketing, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff yeah. that you need to, to put together. Absolutely and there's so many the whole business strategy about yeah. you. And, the, you know, we've talked about this before, but the, the, for so many people that getting their logo, getting their brand, whatever that means to them at the time, sorted at the beginning is can be quite a big milestone. It's like, you know, they, they don't want to project themselves out into the world until they've got that. Um, and, you know, for me, I was too scared to protect a photo of myself at the beginning because I thought I had to be the we and the team and the, everybody else instead of just me. Um, but then I realised that I didn't want a team and so I thought, well, actually project that. But for me, the logo was almost like a mask, you know, to go, well, this is, this is who I am and everything will be behind here. Um, but, yeah, then you get, you get stuck on that and you forget that, yeah, you're actually the CFO and the cleaner and the marketer <laughs> mm. and, you know, the, everything when you first start your own business. Mm. You know, unless you can afford to pay someone to do all of that, you are it. Thanks for joining me for Bits and Bobs, an interview series for new business owners looking to avoid the pitfalls that we who have gone before have either already fallen into and climbed out of or managed to skip over altogether. Please subscribe and watch other episodes where I, along with other business owners, dive into some less talked about and sometimes tough subjects, highlighting some of those I wish I had known topics so that you can get your business going faster and easier. You can find my guest details in the show notes or on my website, kitsandbits.com.au.